Now it so happened that the Ilmarinen had a beautiful sister named Aniki. She was gentle and young and spent her days happily wandering in the beautiful forests. All the people of the village loved her dearly and watched over her carefully. For it was rumored that when Anaki fell in love, then that would be the sign that the time had come and the Sampo was to be forged. But ever since Anaki had become a young woman, she remained by herself and refused the attention of any young man who brazenly thought he might hasten the reward. One man she had never met, for he lived deeper in the forest. His name was Lemminkainen. Rosy dawn, or the radiance of the moon? It's not the moon, nor is it the sun. I'm just a simple maiden. Aniki is my name, you see. Aniki. as I said I would. It's very impressive, but how do I know it works? Let there be gold and flour and salt. your mill. Now give us back Anakin. All right. I will give your pretty sister back to you now. Mm -hmm. 